patient's diagnosis is? is yes, sir. Using it yes, sir, and that's why we use FedRAMP certified hosting space. So where we keep that data, it's it's to the highest security standard possible. It does meet HIPAA compliance. It does meet FIS, uh, FISMA requirements as far as data control and security. And we do follow all of the HIPAA guidelines as far as data security is concerned. And But at the dispensary, every time that the product is sold, we have heard that, that dispensary puts that information in and that's real-time data that somebody else down the road can get and no no it. sir so when a patient swipes their card at this point of sale they're only a number in that point of sale system the point of sale system then communicates with the government system and pulls the required information it only gets a very limited amount of data so that one that they're an authorized patient two how much they're allowed to be dispensed and whether or not they're an active patient or not so that's the only data that the actual dispensing location can see, whereas the administrative uh, government agency that regulates, they have access to the application, the medical recommendation, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Anybody else? Sure. Uh, um, Senator, where are you recognizing? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I, I apologize for that. I'm gonna have to have to depart and uh, I want to apologize to anyone who has yet to speak today. I will uh, go back to the videotape and also I'm happy to uh, speak personally to anybody who who, uh, who who would like because I really do appreciate anyone who's taking time to come and, 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 and share their story or information with us. And But before I leave, I don't want to echo Representative Ramsey's remarks and also compliment uh, the chair on this entire task force. I, mean, I think this is the way that we're supposed to actually engage in the legislative process here. Um, it's very easy for all of us to kind of take our instincts or preconceptions and just make decisions, but we really should try to look at facts and information and try to learn something and do something that's in the you know, welfare and safe you know, people state. And this one has really changed the way I approach this issue. While I mean, I sort of start in a more favorable direction, I probably saw the medical as you know, a different side of the same coin as the decriminalization and legalization. And I think that that was really short-sighted on my part. And uh, both through stories, you know, ranging from a high school friend that called me saying that couldn't get out of bed for two years unless he saw a bottle of opiates on his bedside table um, until finding CBD oil to stories that I've heard in this committee. And then looking at the actual evidence, I think it's uh, changed the way I approach it, both from a sense of there is a there's a, a more pressing need to engage in this issue as opposed to some of the other issues that I think can wait 